Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on IXL R8. Translations, write the rule. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a rule for the X value and the Y value. So the key here is to figure out what is happening to the object. In this case, we're going to be looking at a triangle, ABC. So notice that ABC prime is the translation of ABC. So which means here is this is the original image this is where it starts <clears throat> then it's going to the right and going down to something called the image so remember this is something called the pre-image and the new image is just called the image so it's going to be able to know the difference because the apostrophes here represent the new location all right, so we're going to go from purple to green. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need a count from a vertice, which is either A, B, or C, into the next vertice. So let's just go ahead and use A as an example. So we got A, we need to go to something called A prime. So because we're talking about here the X value, the X value must go either right or left. And because you notice it's a positive right here, we know we have to count to the right. The Y value either has to go up or down, but notice here that they're giving you a hint that the negative means we must go down. So it does make sense that from the purple triangle here, we're gonna count to the right and down to get to the green triangle. All right, let's give this one a try. Let's start with A. So A, we're gonna count to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now notice that right here is right above A. So if I go right anymore, I'm gonna pass the new location of A, which is called the image, all right? So again, double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It's 11 to the right. So 11 would go in the first box. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 11 there. So we're counting 11 to the right. Now the Y value is we need to figure out, well, how many we need to go down? So let's go ahead and do that. So going down, we need to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we're gonna go down eight. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put positive eight because the negative is already in there, implying that we go down. So, the answer we're looking for is X go to the right 11 and the Y go to down eight. Now, if you do C, it's the same thing. C over 11, down eight, you're at C prime. Or B, if you go to the right 11 and down eight, it is also B prime. So it doesn't matter which point you pick because they're all gonna be the same direction. All right, let's give this one a try and see how we did. Okay, we're off to a good start on 14. All right, so again, you can pick any point you want or any vertice, we could pick uh, either Y, X, or Z. It doesn't matter because they're all gonna be traveling the same distance. Now, notice here that we're gonna count to the left and here we're gonna be counting down. So it has to be left then down. All right, and that makes sense because remember the apostrophe or the primes mean the image and over here, the green object is something called the pre-image. So we're going from the pre-image to the left and down to the image. All right, here we go. So we're going to go, well, this is use Y, and we're going to stop right above Y prime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to even highlight this line because I want to know to stop there when counting to the left. All right, here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So to the left, nine. And from the left nine, we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, down nine. And see if it works. Perfect. All right, we're gonna keep up that same pattern. Clear the screen. All right, notice here, they're giving us a hint. We're counting positive. Positive means we need to go right, then positive we need to go up. So notice here that the image 
or the pre-image is yellow and the image here is in blue. So once again, in yellow, the pre-image in blue called the image. All right, so let's go to, let's just use D, that's fine. So D primes over here, I'm gonna kind of draw that line, that vertical line represent representing the uh, spot I wanna stop at. All right, here we go. I wanna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna go eight to the right. Then going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Up nine. Actually, that Excel is pretty easy. It's just a matter of counting. All right, next up, uh, we're counting right, counting up. So we have our pre-image to our image. Let's just use T. And T prime is here, so that's going to be my stopping line right here. So counting to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm at the same level as T. So we're gonna go five to the right. Let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now going up, we're gonna count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten going up. So 10 there. And see if it works out. Nice. All right. Now they're going to make us count. Looks like a quite a bit more because it's a pretty far apart. So notice we got our, our pre-image going to the image. So we need to go right and down. All right. So next up, we're going to use, let's use V. So for V, I need to go to V prime here. So here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo, that's a lot. I'm going to double check one more time because all I got to do is be off by one because if it's 14 or 16, I'm going to get it wrong, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so we got 15 going to the right and going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, going down 10. Looking good. All right, next up, going to, from our pre-image to our image, we're gonna use U. And again, you can pick any one you want, it don't matter. It's easy to use. Here we go, to the left, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10, negative 11. So negative 11, and down, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Down eleven. So I'm saying eleven, eleven, and down eleven as well. There we go. All right. Our image is in blue. Actually, our pre-image. I'm still working on that, right? So pre-image is before. And our image is the after. So remember, the after image has the apostrophes. So we're going right and we're going down. So remember, we're always going to the apostrophes from the no apostrophes. And the apostrophes are called prime. All right, from C to, let's go to C prime. C prime right there. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got 11. And from 11 going down, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. We got negative 10. Perfect. And go from there. All right. 
now from our pre-image to our image, it looks like it's left and down. Let's just use F, F is fine. So we're gonna to go to F prime. So F prime is the level here. And to get to F prime, I'm gonna go back, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10. Now I'm right above the F prime. So we need to go left 10. And from the same left area, we need to go down negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. Go down negative nine right here. All right, so my score is 71. I'm doing real good on this one. Going from our image to our pre-image. Ooh, I said that wrong. From our pre-image to our image. So we're going up to the right. So remember, our pre-image is the before and our image is the after. Let's go ahead and use E and we're going to E prime. So what I'm gonna do is I need to stop here by going to the right first. To the right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to the right 10 and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, looks like two more to go. We are going from our image, our pre-image to our image. So pre-image is in green, our image is in blue. So it looks like we need to somehow go to the left and down on this one. Let's go ahead and use T and we're gonna to go to T prime. So I need to go here. All right, so from T to get to T prime, it's gonna be negative one, negative two, negative three negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight to the left. And notice here they have left off the positive and negative. So we need to go negative eight. So I'm gonna put the negative eight there. And down, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. Negative 10. And let's see what happens. Oh, I got to put the X value in there. So this video should be helpful to you. So if you got, you have to put the X value. Now I got the right answer. Cause I said, look at negative eight, negative 10. And, but they wanted X minus eight and they want a Y minus 10. So they're just being picky about putting the X and the Y. All right, so learn from that mistake so you don't have to make the same mistake because otherwise now I'm set back at 69. Now I've got to run this part again. All right, so we're going from our pre-image, which is in our yellow, which is called a rhombus, to our image in blue. So from U to U prime, let's use U. So to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now in our box, what I want to do is I want to do X plus seven. Let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Okay, in the second box, we're using our Y minus how many I'm going down. So we're going to go down my pencil here. We're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight, nine, 10, 11, and down 12. Down 12. All right, there, now we're getting it right. Okay, now we just gotta do maybe three more and I think we'll have it. All right, our pre-image is in green to our image in purple. I'm going to use X, which means I want to go to X prime. All right, from X, we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write that um, x plus 10. Then for our y value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm getting y plus 11. All right, let's see if that works. So x means we need to go up. Oh, do you see a mistake I just did? Yeah, you're probably like wondering, man, he's going to get it wrong again. Yes, I am. So remember, the y value is always up and down, and the x value is always left or right. So notice in this case, I did it backwards. I did x counting up. Can't do that. x is going to be counting to the right first, then up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the board. I'm not going to put anything in because I'm going to get this one wrong. So remember, x value has to be to the right first. So x... Um, to x prime. So that's why I, I should have brought up this line here because it helps me out. Okay, now to the right first, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That sounds better. So x is plus 11. I still got that 10 in my mind. Let's just use a darker color. There we go. We got x plus 11 and y. Plus, going up, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Y is 10. So, X plus 11 and Y plus 10. All right, one more. We're going to count carefully, too, so that way we get this last one right. All right, so we need, uh, let's go to S, which is our pre-image to our image of S prime. So I want to go here. Remember, it's going to be important that we count from S left first, then up. So left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And because I'm counting left, I'm going to do S minus 10, but because it's, to the left, we're talking about the x value. So we're going to do x minus 10. And going up, we're going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, y plus 9. And here we go. x minus 10 and y plus nine. Hope I get it right. Yeah. All right. This concludes this fabulous IXL tutorial for R8. Keep in mind the mistakes that I made because when you learn from my mistakes, you can get it done faster and uh, be done with the perfect score. All right. Have a fabulous day and until next time.